Hi, this is Piotr Garley and this is a short video on how to easily create a pyramid in PowerPoint. My primary focus in everything I do is simplicity, so let's make this simple. This series of videos will show you how to easily improve your presentation with a couple of clicks. Before we get started, please click the like button, subscribe to our channel and click the bell. Also, remember to download my free ebook 21 Golden Rules for a great business presentation. You can find the link in the description. If you want to get even more free value from me, go ahead and subscribe to my free training on professional business presentations. You'll find the link to that training in the description of this video. Ok, let's get started. Today I'm gonna show you how you can easily create a pyramid in PowerPoint so that you could use it as a visual to explain some issues. We can do it in a couple of different ways. I will show you two methods how we can do it. Method number one. First, we need to make a new slide and insert a triangle. We go to Insert tab, Shapes and we choose a triangle. I remove the outline and insert a rectangle. It must be a very wide but short, just like this. Then I copy this rectangle with Ctrl C and then paste it a couple of times with Ctrl V shortcut. Place them just like that. One of them must be at the top and one of them at the bottom of this triangle. Next step, alignment. Select all of these rectangles, go to Format tab, Align and click Distribute vertically. Those two bottom and top rectangles won't be necessary now, so we can delete them. And now here's the whole magic. Select all items on the slide, go to Format tab, find the Merge Shape option and click Fragment. And what do we have now? The triangle is cut into four pieces, just like this. Now we select all these four items, copy them and insert into a new slide. Now we change the colors. We can put some icons on the pyramid. We go to Insert tab and find Icons option. I choose four random icons and choose Insert. I put them in the middle of these shapes and to make sure all of these items are aligned, I go to Format tab, click Align and Align Center. Now I change color of these icons. I put some lines so that these shapes would be attached to the text. And then I add the circled end. Now I match the color of the lines. Now I match the colors of lines with the colors of shapes. I can insert the text and adjust the colors. And here we have it. Method number 2. This one is a bit quicker and simpler. We go to Insert tab, we choose Smart Art and the Pyramid section. Select the first pyramid in the window and click OK. If we want to have more items within this pyramid, we just select one of the shapes inside the pyramid and click this sequence Ctrl C, Ctrl V. And we can do it a couple of times or delete one of them or two, or whatever. If we have the appropriate number of the items inside the pyramid, then we can leave it just like that, 
Or we can convert this smart art into a simple shape. Just go to the Smart Art Design tab and find the Convert option and choose Convert to Shapes. Then we can adjust the colors, add icons, etc. And after a few moments, we have it done. Ok, so here are these two methods. Which one do you prefer? Let me know in the comments. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for the next videos. And if you want to improve your presentation skills further, you can subscribe to my free training or check out my online course. You will find the links to both of them in the description below this video. Thank you for watching and see you soon.